Hello and welcome on my MixB. I will make a short video tutorial to show you how is working the my MXB server manager. Thanks again to Result Kraken for this software. So first, when you will start the application, it will ask for you to type your license code and create um, a, an account with an email and password to be able to recover it later. So I will not click here because you will see my license code, but it's very simple and well explained in the manual PDF. Once your license is activated, then you can close the license activation uh, menu and here select the server you want to connect. It's related to the, to the region actually there is only Europe we will open in North America and, Austra and uh, Australia if we have some customers just click connect and now you're connected and if you already have servers you will see them then just click here on add new server to create your first server and start editing it. Type the name of your server, my personal server. If you want your server to be password protected, you can type here your public password and your admin password. The max client allowed to connect to the server. The bandwidth, max ping. For the bandwidth, you can let it on very high. If you want to disable the poles, disable the poles only during races. The location of your server. So here we are in Europe. So you can type Europe or whatever. Message of the day. This can be on uh, multiple line <laughs> then the event configuration so you can type a name for your event but this is optional this is more if you if you host a series and you want to name your event like um, 2021 Essex run one Houston then you select your track if your tr if the track selected has different layout you can specify the layout on the left here in bike categories you have to select the category of the bikes allowed to connect to the server then in race here you have some settings, you can disable the, colli the collision, you can let your server in open practice or you can set different things like quick race, qualify practice if you want your race to be uh, a time race plus extra lap like 10 minutes plus one lap or only a number of laps and everything is explained just here. Then the weather so you can set it to realistic or set uh, specific weather hardcore mode so no aids for Scott Pitt and so on the deformation usually it's recommended to lower it a bit if you want need to be auto reset or disable any any uh, uh, dynamics of us or any deformation player list so if you let this empty or you keep click clear because if you start typing something and you have something like that with multiple lines it it can just um, think the game will maybe think that it's waiting for empty GUID so maybe it will not work just just type the clear button 
and you can allow only specific GUIDs to connect to the server. This is meant for the race days, so um, if you are using the MyMXB racing system, which is free again, uh, you can export scripts. So you will have to, to click the import people's format to have the full um, list of allowed player and banned player on your server. Then the export tab will allow you to export your results in HTML or XML format. You can type a prefix for the file name. So maybe if on two servers you are running the 250 and 450 classes, you can prefix this server as 250 and the other one with 450 so you can uh, find easily your, um, your results. And of course, if it's turned off, so it's just ignored. And in replay, you can save your replay and type a prefix too. Please use this um, function only for race day, as it's written there, because it will uh, take a lot of space if you just let this activated and the server is only running practice, um, yeah, just practice sessions or things like that. We are going to monitor this and if you are abusing of this option, we will block it for your account. So please just use it, I, I mean, when needed only. Then when you have some, you can find here on the button result and replace the list of your results and replay. And if you let it open, at the end of the race, you can click refresh to see the list and you have a download button so you can download your files on your local computer. The result files for the MyMXB live result system is needed in XML to upload it into the website to automatically calculate everything. When your server is um, set up, you can here click on option and copy and create new. So you don't have to uh, make the whole configuration again. And for your first server, you can just remove it if needed. So depending of your license, if you're allowed to create multiple server, this will be just like that. Here I created a copy of my uh, mymxb.com range of server and I just cleared the password so you can, you can see it. And for example, I can create a um, multiple events multiple track event I mean so at the end of one race it will just jump to to the next and so on and uh, players are able to to make a poll to go to the next track and what's once it's done I'll stop the replay Turn off the results. I can click start here, and as soon as you can read running there, so your server is available in the game. And now your server is running. You can of course close the application, and the server will continue to run in the background on the dedicated server. If I open again the application will have to click the connect button just here to be connected again to your servers and be able to manage and edit them. If you make any edit, please remember to save and restart. Oops. I mean here you can click save to save the configuration. If you go to settings, you will see that 
there is an auto save feature every minute it will save your configuration but just remember to save and restart your server to take any change in consideration now I will stop this one and wait for you guys I hope you're enjoying this and see you soon on mymxp.com